picture this. You spawn at Port Merrick. Right before you start your adventure, you go AFK for a few moments, only to return to find your ship has sunk. Or, well, maybe your name is Searaw, and you just want to farm the milestone for your ship being on fire. Suddenly, you are left shipless, with no way to make gold. But what if I told you that that isn't true? Well, with a little luck, there is another way. Fishing! And you might be surprised at just what fish you can get at just Port Merrick alone. Especially with one particular little known trick. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and subscribe. But what is so special about Port Merrick for fishing? Well, there are two things. One is that there is a stove in the tavern with three pans on for cooking. And the other, well, it's a trick known only by a small handful of players. But we'll get to that one later, so stick around. To start off with, considering we weren't going to be using our ship at all, we would need to make 5,000 gold in order to buy a bait crate, and then another 5,000 gold to buy a supply crate. Wait, wait, wait. A bait crate? The bait crate first? We'd need that first? Not a supply crate? Well, if you were thinking plenty fins, you'd be a third correct. The reason for this is because, well, our circumstances this session lined up in such a way that we could actually use all three types of bait. Now, if we can get our hands on a bait crate, we would be able to fish for plenty fins, but also stormfish, and even battlegill. Yes, you heard that right. Battlegill. We can catch battlegill at Port Merrick without even leaving. But I'll get to the how of that later. So let me guess, we start off by fishing up splash tails till we get enough money for a cr- Nope, wrong, wrong, wrong. Remember that little known trick that I mentioned earlier? Well, here it is. You can catch pondies at Port Merrick. Come with me, it is over this way. So if I remember right, it's either down by... It's like somewhere down by here. You grab, you can get pondies from. I don't remember the oh, exact this location spot. Is somewhere on this? Uh... It's somewhere. They, yeah, see, pondy, look. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, those of you who do a lot of fishing in CFUs would know that pondies sell for the same amount as a splash tail does. But well, why would you want them in that case? Well, it's because you can actually fish them up a lot quicker than a splash tail. And also, they just appear much more than the splash tails do. Now, considering we only had a limited amount of time to get the battle gills, we would need to go for the pondies in order to get that bait crate as soon as we could. And so, that is exactly what we did. We went fishing for pondy, after pondy, after pondy, after pondy, until eventually, the bait crate was ours. Remember earlier when I said about the battle gill? Yeah, so this is where they come in. See, the server had a skeleton fleet, and the skeleton fleet is always in one spot of the map. But here's the thing, the Pirate Legend hideout is right under this area of the map. So when the skeleton fleet is there, yep, you can fish battle gill in the hideout. Well, after only a little bit of battle gill fishing, we eventually fished up something very special. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Let's see here. Uh... Yo, trophy fish, which one is it? Sand. Oh, nice! So it's a sand trophy yeah, fish? That's gonna be 20k or something, at least. F off, oh, no man. way. It's super expensive. There ain't no way it's that much, it's right? super expensive. We fished up the rarest battle gill. And not only that, it was the trophy variant of it too. The trophy sand battle gill. This basically allowed us to just buy the storage crate immediately, which is much better than only being able to sell five fish at a time. So we decided to catch a few more battle gill for the chance of a little bit more gold. Though, uh, well, unfortunately we didn't get to fish them for that long. Oh, that storm is getting close. It's like lightly raining right now. Oh, I'm gonna hurry up then. The storm coming would mean only one thing. Stormfish. Stormfish can only be caught in a storm. And with the storm right over Port Merrick? Yeah, you bet we take that over some battle gill. With leeches at the ready, we begun fishing for stormfish. And, well, it turns out that I learned something though. Don't ever fish for a trophy stormfish unless it's a shadow. The trophy stormfish actually take quite a while to be caught. After finally stormfish. catching the trophy yeah, stormfish, so I only had time to catch a few more before eventually the storm had left. Which, well, didn't give us that many, to be honest. And to make it worse, <laughs> it someone had already didn't. cleared the skeleton fleet in the storm. So we could no longer get battle gill, nor stormfish, at least, 
for now anyway. With the storm gone, the next best thing that we could catch was plenty fins. So, we went about catching more plenty fins for a while until we realized something. There was still actually a way to get stormfish. So, using the website Mythos Lullaby, we found that the storm would soon be heading over the area of the map that the fleet spawns in. Now, yeah, sure, the fleet was gone, but this meant that much like the battle gill, we could still catch stormfish in the hideout. And not only that, we couldn't get interrupted by lightning down there. After catching just one stormfish down there, in a nice stroke of luck, one of the rarest fish in the game was already on the other side of the line. No way. Let's Jesus. go. Holy f <laughs> Holy sh Okay. Don't lose that one. It's the most expensive fish in the game. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh. You nervous yet? Oh. 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 <laughs> Come here. Come here. Don't. Don't. Do not. Oh, oh, oh. No way. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. Not so close. Oh, not so close. Oh, no. That's f***ing scary. It is. Oh. The rock is right there. Come on, come on. Let's go. Yes. Let's <laughs> go. The trophy shadow stormfish had been caught. This was huge, as a trophy shadow stormfish can easily go for around 16,000 gold. Not bad when we can't use the ship at all, eh? This is fine. Unfortunately, the storm wasn't around for very long, so we only got to catch an extra few stormfish, and then we went about cooking them all on the stoves in Port Merrick to then later sell. What was there left now then? Well, we used our main bait to catch plenty fins as before, of course. Many, many plenty fins. And then, well, after using all that up, we caught a few extra pombies, cooked it all, and then we sold the remaining fish. How much did we make from this? Let's see. Um. Golden 87k. Okay, so um. a little more than I thought, but. Kill? Pretty dog sh. <laughs> it is us. <awesome. laughs> yeah, considering we were fishing for what, maybe two or three hours? Not much. That being said, though, it's still good money considering we never even left the island in the first place. And I learned a little bit more about fishing in Sea of Thieves, which, if you may hear from me over on twitch.tv slash Farina, it isn't exactly something that I go out of my way to do in Sea of Thieves a lot. If you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like, comment, and subscribe? Or maybe even check out these videos here. I also stream the game regularly over at twitch.tv slash Farina. So long, and thanks for all the fish. See ya in the next one. Wait a minute. What's up? Are these the stormfish that Merrick himself throws back into the water? <laughs> Wait.